Good morning. How do we see that the worship of idols is emptiness? Today we're at Jeremiah chapter 8, verses 1 to 3. At that time, says the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah, and the bones of its princes, and the bones of the priests, and the bones of the prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. They shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all the host of heaven, which they have loved, and which they have served, and after which they have walked, which they have sought, and which they have worshipped. They shall not be gathered nor buried. They shall be like refuse on the face of the earth. Then death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of those who remain of this evil family, who remain in all the places where I have driven them, says the Lord of hosts. So not only will the Valley of Hinnom be called the Valley of Slaughter, as we saw yesterday morning, but when Tophet overflows, what else will happen? There's a mass desecration of the graves of the elite, the bones of kings, of priests, of princes, of prophets, all the, the big guys in Jerusalem. They're going to be taken out and spread across the ground, taken out of their tombs. I mean, this is the ultimate humiliation. This is an intentional act of desecration. And so these bones are taken out and they're thrown across the ground. They're just spread out, mingled with each other. And they're laid there before the sun and the moon and the, and the hosts of heaven that they have worshipped, that they have constructed these elaborate liturgies, these elaborate ideas of worship and appeasement and, and doing things to please these gods, gods in quote marks. There they lay, and what can the sun and the moon and the hosts of heaven do? Can they resurrect them? No. Do they even care? No. Do they have any inkling of what's going on? No, they're not. They're not personal beings. They're just, they're just stuff. They're just material. And so the, the bones lay out there, just lay there on the ground like mingled in the dirt. Jeremiah points out the complete bankruptcy of their false worship. It's all futile. It's all imaginary. It's all uh, made up things that they've done. And now what's it achieving for them? What are they getting from it? Zero, zip, nothing. It was nothing more than a humanly devised, satanically inspired lie. And so now they're, now that these people are dead and they're in need, they need to be resurrected. There they are laid out and uh, not, not, not too much resurrection going on, right? All their devotion gets them absolutely nothing in return. And this is the same story for us. What do we gain when we worship the cultural idols and the things of our time? What do we gain from that? You know, we'll have nothing at the end to show for our devotion to the gods of science and acquisition of things and all the things that are cultural and big things today. We won't have anything to show for that if we put our stuff in that basket. The gods of science, of justice so-called, they can't deliver us. None of these died for us or desire our good. None of these can restore or regenerate us, but, but Jesus can. And on that note, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus can give us life and life all around, life more abundantly. Lord, we thank you that you sent Jesus to die for us and to give us the gift of eternal life, and that even now in this time we receive from you. Not that we deserve it, but it's just your overflowing graciousness. You give us help, you give us the things we need to have a, a fulfilling life, a joy in our lives, meaning and purpose in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for these things. Around us, all around us are people worshiping the sun and the moon and the stars and the hosts of heaven, like in the day of Judah. They may not recognize it as such, but the many things they devote themselves to, saving a little snail or these different movements, Lord, you have a big plan for us. We are made in your image. Help us not to shrink down into the, the small agendas that are here today, gone tomorrow. Please, Lord, help us to, to turn and look up higher to the cross of Jesus, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. False gods can do nothing for us except lower our conception of right and wrong and reduce us to their level of nothingness. Let us turn to the God who can deliver. God be with you today in all that you do.